Hello everyone, welcome back to our Codeignator 4 tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about libraries in Codeignator 4. What is a library? A library is nothing but a class file which contains collection of properties and methods. So the same definition I have discussed in the previous session also. What is a model? A model is nothing but a class file which contains collection of properties and methods. But here, a library is also a class and a model is also a class. But as per our MVC, a model is always a responsible person to communicate with the database. Whatever the methods we are writing in a model class, those methods are helping us to get data from database or to insert the data into database. Here, library is a also a class which is also contain collection of methods and properties but here libraries will always provide you some reusable logics uh, when we are developing an application guys what is meant by a reusable logic here a reusable logic logic is nothing but for example i want to validate email id to validate the email id you, you if you are already working with core php you will understand how much how much lines of code we have to write to validate the email id but if it is a framework already there is a library validation library just to pass the email id to that library that email id that validation library will take in care the email id you entered is valid or not one more situation i want to check whether this email id already available in database or not so for this we have to write a query if it is a core php select source from table name where email equal to this email id if this is exists we will display a message in the front end if not exists we will proceed to create an account but this is the task we are doing in core php but if it is a library directly there is a method just pass your email id to that method that method will take in care that email id is exists or not right so this is so for example i want to send an email notification to the registered user so if it is a core php we have to do everything but if it is a coordinator 4 and we don't want to do we don't want to write much logics guys to send an email id and all the things so with a lot of settings the libraries the lot of methods the libraries are available we have to use those libraries guys here and here ci4 coordinator 4 is providing lot of predefined libraries like session email validation and security and more classes we have pagination classes also lot of classes are there in codeignator 4 these are all the predefined libraries which are provided by the codeignator 4 sometimes based on our business requirement framework may not provide you a library in this situation we can create our own libraries also that is nothing but the custom libraries yes if you want you can create custom libraries or if you want you can create predefined libraries also you can use them wherever you want in our application development when we can go for custom libraries if the framework does not suit for our requirement i mean a class if you are not able to find a class based on your requirement then we can create our own class that is nothing but our own library how we can use the predefined library in the same manner we can also use our custom library nothing difference is there how we are loading the predefined libraries in the same manner we can load our own libraries also okay how to load the libraries and where to load the libraries whatever the libraries we are going to create that may be a predefined library that may be a custom library all the libraries are going to be loaded into the controller classes so we know that controller is the heart of our mvc architecture whatever the request it may be that request should be received by the controller only right so every library every helper every database whatever it may be that we are going to load into a controller classes only so that is controller class methods are whatever it may be controller constructor wherever we want we can load them right if you want to use library methods that may be a predefined library that may be a you custom library whatever the library it may be we have to create the instance nothing but we have to create object of the library in the previous session we used a model class into our controller how we use it we create the instance of the model object model class and by using that model object we are accessing the methods of the model and we are passing the data to view that's what we say in the same manner if you want to access a library method first of all we have to create the instance based on that instance we can access the library methods to validate or to send an email notification or to create a session or to work with security function whatever it may be first we have to instantiate an object for that library and based on that object we can access our library methods this is what exactly a library is right in the next session i'm going to explain you email how, email library let us see how can we work with email from our local mission how to configure smtp server in our local mission by using coordinator 4 if you have any doubts please comment under the video section thank you guys